All right, I'm here with uh, Kevin Betsy. Um, I've got a few questions to ask you about racism. Um, Kevin, have you ever been? Have you ever suffered racial abuse at a football match? Um, have I? Yeah, I have to be honest with you. But it was in, it was during a match and um, the opposing team we were playing against. Um, players sort of like come out of something quite mm. racial. How did you react? Did you get on with the game? Or? I was a bit shocked, and then um, I just thought I'll just just get on with the game, and um, you know, I said something back to him, but that was it really. But um, you know, it, it was surprising to be honest with you. But you know, things things happen in, in games, and um, obviously you don't know, from other players. But, no. You know, it was just one of those things. What about fans? Have you ever had any abuse from fans? Mm. Yeah, I've had. Uh, uh, we played um, in Eastern European um, for. Um, monkey chance, things like that, but yeah. indeed, I think that's just a, it's difficult, it's, it's not acceptable, of course it's not, no. but I think it's a, a cultural thing as well, where yeah. you've got many coloured players or black players. Did you um, ever think about taking the Samuel Eto approach of walking off the pitch or anything um, like that? No, I think that's a little bit um, drastic, you know, um, to be honest, I think um, the England players that suffered, you know, mass racism in Spain was, you know, they didn't walk off the pitch, you know, mm. so I think um, you just got to try and uh, wipe, you know, brush it off. But uh, obviously, you know, after the game, you reflect on things that happened, mm. and you know, you're not happy with it, obviously. But you know, I think it's difficult for uh, an individual player to do anything about it. Yeah. Know, it's more the the, the, the laws from above. But it must hurt a lot, though. I mean, you yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's 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 for me, it's still hurt um, a great deal because um, my mum's white and my dad's black, so you know, it's I'm, I'm mixed race, um, so. I've never I've experienced it when I was at school and things like that, you know. But you know, it's, it's not something that um, doesn't really it doesn't really bother me. But you know, it does happen, and it you know it's not nice when it happens. No, no. I mean, but if say a club's fans were being very abusive, how would what would you think the best um, point of action would be? Do you reckon the club itself should be fined, or do you reckon they should be docked points? I mean, what do you reckon is best? Um, I think it's, it's, it depends on circumstances and what ha what the scenario is really. Um, I think um, you know definitely FIFA and you know the laws of the game should the govern football should you know clamp down on things like that. And yeah. you know it, it, it really needs to, like there's stuff like um, banning um, play uh, supporters you know entering the ground and stuff like that. So I think that's one one way. Of yeah, because I mean most of these clubs are very well off, so. Hitting them financially doesn't really work, yeah, does course. it? That's yeah, something. true. But, um, well, there's not many other ways to do it, really. What no. else? Could you, I mean, dot points is one, but yeah, it's, yeah, it is. It's hot. It, well, it's it's an open subject. Right? Yeah. So, what would your message be to any young players, maybe still at school or just joining youth teams who are suffering racial abuse? What would you say to them? I say, um, just um, at the time of it, don't re don't retaliate or react to it. Just um, try and. Um, Use a positive frame of mind and beat them on the pitch with with your football, and then um, after the game, then you know have a quiet word with them and say, you know, you know, listen, do you actually know what you said? Yeah. You know, and why? What, what, do you know what it means and stuff like that? So I think you could, if you try and put a positive thing in, in um, cause your football, let your football do the talking, then after the, the game, if if you're going to confront the person in a you know a nice fashion, you'll always be the winner. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank okay. you very much, Kevin. That was really good.